Don't get mad. Get glad. Get glad for horse flights. Yep. We will not kill anyone. 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 Listen, I'm willing it into creation. If I think it, so it shall be. Listen, there ain't no fucking allowing it, young man. Saving these people. They don't deserve to die just because they were cursed by some witch in the fucking 1600s. It's not their fault that Mary's a little bitch and falsely accusing everybody else of witchcraft when she's the little fucking demon child. I don't know what I believe with you. Put us in, coach. Put us in and we will save their lives. I said, I mainly don't want no one to die because I don't want to hear dad yell at us. He's gonna be like, what the fuck y'all do? <laughs> you fucking idiots. You had one job, keep them alive. Hope you're right. We've been shit out of luck so far tonight. Alright, I'm Daniel, you're Taylor, okay, okay. At least I got a flashlight, Mrs. Phone flashlight. <laughs> Screwed. The woman who looks like me. What should she do to be taken like that? I'm reading a sign over. Tilly Johnson's house. Tilly was mysteriously found dead in her home. Yo, people are just fucking randomly dying everywhere. This town's horrible. You know what this town reminds me of? Silent Hill. You remember Silent Hill when they walked up the road they couldn't leave? This straight up reminds me of Silent Hill. Not a great omen for sure. True. But nothing's gonna happen to you. I'll make sure of that. I guess it's literally the same concept. You walk up the road to Silent Hill and then you couldn't get back out because the fog was too thick. Foreclosure, bank owned, keep out. The tourist center, okay. Well, the tourist center is out of business, so I don't know why. True. Okay. Yeah, that's the way we gotta go. Because the road's out in front of us. I'm coming. Oh, cool. There's something talking to us. Can you hear the demon voices? Because I definitely hear demon voices. Execution site. Oh, great. There's just a kid swing at an execution site. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna head towards this hole in the road. Damn right, it'll freak me out. Here, check this out. Yeah, tires one. You wanna play on it? This is impossible. I know those markings. This is my old tire swing. Look, here, see? Hey. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's not okay. You don't get it. See these stars? I painted them onto this tire with my dad when I was 10 years old. Okay, that's a little freaky. I ain't gonna sure? lie. Hell yes, I'm sure. This is my tire swing. How come it's out here? 
I believe you, okay? So what does it mean? Ain't she about to be fucking murdered? Fuck this place! Hey, True, hey, look at true, me. fuck this place. We're Good response. This, okay? Yeah, it's babe. Better. We'll make it through. Uh, babe, we're, I'm not making it through because I was impaled and that thing's coming to impale me. This is not my doing. You must help me. I beg you. Please help me before it is too late. Hush now, woman. Only the Almighty can forgive your sin. That is your only hope of salvation. Listen to me. I have committed no sin. The puppet I am condemned for is a child's plaything. Nothing more. I swear I will not it. Be deceived. I see the evil in you. My duty is to cleanse our town of your sickness. There is no other way. You must hang. I pray, Lord, for you to take the soul of this, our sister Tabitha, who has been led astray by the devil, and do with it as you will. Where'd the monster go that was right behind us, though? Nothing bad's gonna happen to you. I'll make sure of that. Thanks. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, but can we talk about the thing that was behind us? Church. That's likely where the rest are. Yeah, sure, I guess. Alright, we need to get out of here. The thing that wants to murder me is here. Hi, kitty cat. Hey, over here. The cat's blind in both eyes. We are being followed. Hey! Get the fuck out of here! Oh, that's the hanging ghost. That's the hanging ghost. That's not good. Oh crap, what the fuck is that? Oh, Taylor needs to get the fuck out of here. We need to should we run or hide? Come on. We're hiding. Easy, easy money, bro. Easy money. Oh, quick time events are scary. Have you know? Hold on to me. Gotcha. Well, we maximized each other's fucking relationship, at least. Keep moving, go! We're full on sprinting. This thing is crawling, basically. How the fuck is it catching us? Yeah, but he's, he sprints when he's off screen. Everybody knows it. <laughs> Taylor! Is that you back there? Get to the church! Run!
Place of the Lord will definitely save you. You can't see it because it's not after him. Hurry up! No, I'm not shooting it. I had the opportunity to shoot it. I'm not wasting our bullets on that shit. I could have shot that ghost in the chest. Where's Angela? She didn't make it. Nothing we could do. You're kidding me. No, and we have to keep that thing outside or we'll be joining her. Fuck. Look for ways in and out of here. Close them all off. <laughs> Shit. Come on, we need a barricade here. I could have shot that ghost, bro. Hey. Why the hell is that old fool still out there? The old guy's lost it big time. Good thing he's outside. I know man. you're inside. God damn it. Why'd you have to pull a gun on him? Now he's drawing that thing straight to us. He doesn't get how much trouble we're in here. What the hell is going on in there? You need to get away from here. Go before it's too late. Get the hell out of here. I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in. I'm real sorry, but I can't open this door. Shutting people out don't help. And believe me, I know. Wait, what do you mean? I shut out the whole goddamn world. Instead, I chose to look inside a bottle. Not a life for a man or beast. I've been stuck in this town so long, I don't know what to do next. That's two of us, man. I'll go get help. That's a bad idea. There's nothing out there can help us. You really think it was smart not to tell me that you had that gun? Figured I could hit that thing, but almost took out the old guy. I messed up. Don't what do you mean you almost shoot. took out the old guy? I didn't even shoot the gun. Bad way. We do what we have to. Professor? Andrew! What'd y'all find? It's me. I'm next. Oh, Daniel's next. Cool. What, did you get sucked into a vision? Yeah, I was Andrew the whole time. I was talking to the black guy who was trying to break in and bang on the door. Made accusations against my double. It sounded serious. Another trial? Not this time. It sure looked like it was heading that way. And the girl? Mary? Yeah. She was there, all right. Sounds like burning that weird doll didn't do the job. We secure in here? You find any other ways in? Sorry, Professor. I didn't check. Still out there. Look over there. We have to follow her. Whoever she is, she's tied up in everything that's happened here. What if you're right? What then? If we can stop her, it could prevent any more harm happening to our doubles. Okay. Guard the door in case that thing comes back. Who's crawling? I'm Andrew, I believe. Nah, what do I pay attention? Why are we climbing into a fucking tower? I don't think this is the place. Hey, kid. You out here?
Oh, she's here. It pains me to say these words, but your punishment today will protect us all. Keep our town safe. Can you spare him? I beg you. This is hard for you, child. But one day you will understand, and you will thank me. Go from this place, Mary. Your pleas cannot reach you. My fate is not a memory you should carry. Who will be my keeper if you are gone? Judge Wyman has instructed Abraham. He will be your keeper. A decision not all are in agreement with. Every man will face his day of judgment. Yours is today. No! No! Look, child. See who you would have me spare. See, he is no longer of this earth. Only the damned and the devil can resist in this way. Cop, he cut the rope. No, no. I'm starting to think the little girl's not the bad guy. I'm starting to think it's that reverend. Because she was just like pleading to save that guy, and the Reverend was like, nah, kill that motherfucker. I don't know, man. The little girl's been it. Like, she, she was, was the right one here. accusing people, but now you. she's trying to save people. I don't know, man. It was right there. Nothing I could do. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. I know how much it messed me up. Thanks. We're both still standing. That's what counts. Why did that kid Mary want us to see her brother executed? She didn't. She tried to save him. Doesn't add up. We're missing a piece of the puzzle somehow. Like what? Not sure. First time I saw Mary, felt like I recognized her from someplace. Me too. I know I've seen her before. But where? The oh. That's okay. what's going after us. She can Come just on. fly. Now, with that thing outside. Quiet. It's out there. Listen. It's out there for now. What if it decides to come in after us? Maybe we're okay if we stay inside the church. Because? Because it's holy ground. A church? Maybe it can't come in. Really? It's a fucking vampire now? I'm just saying, this is a solid building. He's right. We're safer in here. We're staying put. That thing is hunting me just like before. It wants me. You don't get what we're dealing with. That thing out there is something fucking else. We gotta get away from it. Right? Sorry, I'm with them on this. We go out there, we're toast. Guess I'm outvoted, but if that thing busts in here, I'm out of here like the wind. Agreed. No, my options were to say it's hunting me or to say, like, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> so, like, if I'm actually in that situation, like, I ain't gonna be like, yeah, you know, who gives a fuck? Is 
this place keeps getting weirder. This guy is the twin of that witch hunter, Carver. Oh, Parish newsletter from 1971. Oh great, there's a cult in this town. Cool. Sounds like more than one. Love cults, bro. Fucking great. Listen up. If it follows us. What the fuck is that? Oh shit! He just tried to impale the fuck out of Daniel. Oh shit! Church is a fun place. We should stay in the church, right guys? Taylor. I can't see shit. What the fuck is going on right now, bro? I can't see anything. I don't think you should be fighting the thing that's trying to kill you. Yeah, I still don't think you should be fighting the thing that's supposed to murder you, though. Well, fuck John. <laughs> Found Andrew, okay. Well, I had to see you guys. Thought I'd lost. Right, I guess I guess right. We're still in big trouble here. That was yeah. We still haven't seen the guy who's gonna kill the dead. What? Your connection to the other player is weak. That's the first time we've ever gotten that before. Okay, what have you just got? Yeah. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever seen that pop up. That's cool. I should have auto-saved those. We shouldn't have to repeat that stuff, hopefully. We still haven't seen whatever's going to come after John, because he gets crushed. So there's got to be something that's going to come and try to crush him. That's fucked up. We've seen how they do it in the, the, uh, the museum we were in. They like lay a board on your chest and just pile rocks on it until you can't breathe and it crushes your chest. I was walking down the road, not being able to see anything through a thick fog, and then I kept seeing like figures in the distance, and basically had to guess the right way to go to not walk into a monster and walk back into you guys. <laughs> All I could see was like dark shapes in the distance, <laughs> and I had to guess the right dark shape to go to, to not die.
Yeah, I ended up bumping into Andrew. We gotta be coming close to the end because like basically everybody's seen their death except for John. So we gotta be getting close to the end. It's like November 22nd or something like that, I think it was. <laughs> yeah, the end of the month, yeah. And then there's gonna be, and then that'll be the end of season one of the Dark Pictures Anthology. Then there's gonna be another four games for season two. The first season, basically. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're pretty decently long. Like I said, they're all like three and a half, four hour games. And you can go back and replay them and change your answers and get different endings. Like, we could go back and have everybody get murdered or, yeah, just fucking stay silent the whole time and just not grow any of the relationships. Let Conrad get on the speedboat and get his head blown the fuck off. Let Angela get drugged back into the river by her chain monster. Say John instead, fuck Angela. Maybe actually not gun me down when I'm in the locker, you know? Actually not gun his friend down. <laughs> not fucking absolutely, you know, obliterate me. That'd be opposite. Yeah. yeah. something only the guy in the prologue lives and we kill off every other character. <laughs> That'd be a horrible playthrough. Fucking curator every time we go to talk to him. Wow, you killed another one. Good job, assholes. <laughs> another one. <laughs> another one. And just gonna hit us with the DJ Khaled. Another one. Some of them do fly by. Yeah, we're right where we left I off. need a break. John, stop being fat. We need to run. We, we don't need breaks. Running. Can't stop. No, wait. He needs a break. <laughs> Forget it. Those things are coming after us, not you. We can't hang around. I keep telling you, stick together, and we'll be fine. Fine like Angela, right? Listen, we don't even know if Angela's dead. All right. What's our next move? 
I'm not sure. Everybody keeps talking like Angela's gone. We don't know what happened to her. We should rest here for a while. You asleep? That's impressive. I wish. No way I could get any shut eye after what went down tonight. Would love to, though. I'm beat. Any ideas how we're getting out of here? The fog has us surrounded. There's no way through. We can't just do nothing. We need to figure out where the fog is coming from. I think the kid, Mary, is the key to finding a way through it. Getting to Mary, stopping her, might help. Sure, okay, but what about the other kid? The one that keeps running from us. Mary and her are connected somehow, I'm sure of it. Maybe the other girl is trying to lead us somewhere. Where? I don't know. Maybe to a place we can stop all this. Stopping that kid is our best shot. But how? Not even sure she's real. What's the big plan? Please, little girl, will you stop messing with us? <laughs> we do whatever it takes to stop Mary. Literally whatever we have to. Yeah, murder that little kid. Fucking gang, gang. Hold your pistol sideways when you shoot her. You're right. When we stop her, this all goes away. If we see her again. Nothing here is certain. Hey, what the fuck's going on with Andrew? What's going on? You okay? My eyes were just burning for a second there. No, well, Andrew's the one that, yeah, Sorry, has okay. no memories. What's that? Which is weird. Hell no, that thing is back to finish me off. Don't pull the trigger, whatever you do. You can't shoot. It'll give us away. Put the damn thing down. It's already on top of us. Man, but that could be Angela out there. I seen this in a vision. I seen this in a vision, him pointing a gun at something, but we we didn't know what it was. Point that goddamn thing at someone else, will you? <laughs> Angela! You would have blew Angela's head off. <laughs> Never thought I'd see you again. I, I was sure you... you... <laughs> I mean, she did just run through the sewers for probably the last two, three hours. We're all glad you made it. Stop it. You're gonna make me blush. But thank you. No one messes with you. For sure. You are one tough lady. The whole crew is back together. You rounded everyone up. Good job. Mm, not quite. They found us. Right now, our priority is getting you safe. Let's go. Yeah, because at least We've three of us in the group are being hunted. Since you left us. The thing that chased after me was horrendous. Now you're telling me there's more of them? What in God's name are they? Oh, uh... I almost forgot I had these. Oh, her glasses. I'm very happy to return them. It was a time I feared it wouldn't happen. Thanks. You're a true gentleman. Oh, God, here we go. I mean, they are the mom and dad, to be, you know, honest. One lens is broken. Maybe I'll break the other one, then I won't have to see what's going on down here. Not <laughs> sure that's going to give us the edge we're looking for, but I like the idea. Fucking Schmeagol. You hear that? I heard it. No, I like Schmeagol. Leave him alone. close, too. They just got to keep moving. Go! Go! I don't know if we should go down there. I don't know if we should go down there. I don't like the looks of that. Let me help you down. I'm gonna break my ankle going down there. Uh. 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 
Holy fucking Jesus. I ain't gonna lie, that caught me off guard. That scared the fuck out of me. I almost tripped. You did trip. Wait up. Oh. Yeah, I almost tripped and Tanya did trip. Keep moving, go. I went back and saved her. I don't know if I should have, but I did. Isn't this going back where we started? Doesn't matter. We have to keep moving. Come on, Tanya. Easy. Come on, Taylor, whatever the fuck your name is. I got you. Come on. Gotcha. Come on, come on, let's go. We need to move. Oh, Andrew? I hear Andrew. You there? Daniel? Andrew. Taylor? Andrew, where you at, bro? Oh, Tanya's Tanya's splitting up from me. Taylor, Tanya. Oh, oh, her her ghost is here. Oh no, she's getting choked by her ghost. Oh shit, my ghost is here too. Up to you, brother. Hold on, Taylor. I gotta help. Get him off of me! <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. They wouldn't let me. Ow, that hurt. Literally, it wouldn't let me kick him. It gave me nothing that was red to kick him. Okay, he did. I literally spammed his whole leg and it gave me nothing red to fight back. I respect it. I don't know where I was supposed to kick him at. I literally went from his like ankle all the way up to his midsection and it gave me nothing. Cause you know normally when you're in the right spot it, your cursor turns red. It gave me nothing. Grabbing the knife or what? Like it's just going super slow mo right now. What the fuck is going on right now? Yeah. Yeah. Pissed off a Daniel died, bro. Like, there was literally nothing I could do there. Like, I checked his whole leg and it gave me nothing to kick. Shit. This ain't happening. He thought maybe we all died and the crash. This place is hell. I laughed at him, but now I'm thinking he was right. You've definitely been through hell. I don't know. No one can doubt that. But we need to keep moving if we want to get out of this place. We have to go right now. I don't now. understand why there was no red spot for me to kick. It was just all solid white. It is better to conquer yourself than to win a thousand battles. Then the victory is yours. It cannot be taken from you. Not by angels or by demons. Heaven or hell. Perhaps you've started to realize something. At 
everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. Three executions, three tormented beings, and so far you have only lost Daniel. Any thoughts on what might be around the corner, hidden by the fog? Something wicked this way comes. Something wicked this way comes. Still mad that he died. Looks like a long way down. Keep a lookout for the girl. We have to stop her. I, for one, hope I never see that girl ever again. Stopping that kid is the only way we're making it out of here. There's a building right here. Open. Wow. That's amazing. The fireflies are like leading us in there. What is that light? Looks kind of beautiful, don't you think? Never thought I'd say that about anything here. Cannot be. My own eyes deceive me. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all. But you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of Keep remorse. Keep suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. Now I am not so sure. Tell the court what the girl has done. It's what your friend asked of you. The devil has sent you to tempt me. I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. What the hell is wrong with you? Earlier, you agreed Mary was the cause of all this, and now you want to protect her? Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. No one can doubt that.
He was deciding whether to talk about the girl to the trial or not. What the hell were you thinking speaking up for that kid? You may have just sentenced us both to death. I don't know what's right or wrong anymore. Nothing here makes sense. Mary is no ordinary child. If we want to get out of this, she has to be stopped. Maybe we'll see him again, get him to change his mind. I made the right call. I have no doubts. Change his mind about what? The guy was considering speaking to the court about Mary, but somehow we failed to convince him it was a good idea. Shame. We need all the help we can get. Oh well, uh, yeah, you are. Stay here. Taylor, where are you? Taylor, Taylor, can you hear me? Say something. Where the hell did you go? I did, dude? Trying to find you right now is John. I can't find you. That's what happened to me. I couldn't do anything to stop it. There's got to be a way to save him. We need to get away from here. Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. So, I mean, Angela got away. I mean, she ain't exactly safe, but I mean, she got away. We did fuck up. In the scene with me and Taylor both being like fighting our demons. <laughs> 
If you choose to save Taylor, Daniel can look after himself, so I'd have to do the quick time events to just hold them all. And this way we both make it out alive. If you choose to save Daniel, Taylor dies later. Yeah, where she just died now. So we, the only way to save both of them is we had to choose to save Taylor when they were both being attacked. Okay. That's part of the playthrough, though. And Daniel and Taylor would both be alive right now. Yeah, that's part of the playthrough is to learn it. So, pop it. Can't know everything going into a game. That one decision <laughs> killed us both. <laughs> he killed both our characters. Damn it. It's all good. I mean, it is what it is. I can't believe Taylor's gone. Our chances <laughs> can't make the right decision every time, right? Speak against Mary. What do you mean? The guy was considering speaking to the court about Mary. But somehow we failed to convince him it was a good idea. That is true, because you already fought it off once, as Daniel. We need all the help we can get. Did I just hear a gunshot? Oh, more Blair Witch stuff. You know, there's something down in that factory making noise. Coming or not? Can't believe Taylor's gone. I let Taylor down badly. I should have seen the danger, done more to help her. She didn't deserve that. If Taylor were here, she'd be yelling at us to keep moving. To make it out. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, the other one was angry. Yeah. There must be something we can do. Mary's in the middle of all this, that I'm certain of. We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help. I'm trying to stay true to the characters, because Andrew just doesn't... Andrew doesn't seem like a dick. He just seems like a fucking dumb, kind-hearted kid. It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong, and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on. Let's take a look. I, I don't know, man. I'm still on the fence about Murder and Mary, man. Like... Did you get one? So you're basically getting crushed. Cool. How do we stop from losing job? Up here. Hey! Oh, 
That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. Well, no one's been here for a long time. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Now is my time to speak before the judge. Maybe we're finally getting somewhere. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Uh, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding cupboard in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. Mm. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Abraham. I'm really not liking the Reverend man. Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? I understand your dilemma. The consequences couldn't be more serious, but the girl is so young. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm Little not Hall. here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her. Stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. In that cutscene, they said that they killed Joseph. Told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong. Like Joseph's the dad. She's the victim here. He's John. What happens now? I'm not sure I did the right thing. I guess at least we know we can influence the outcome. That's gotta be good, right? Is he right? You go along with that? Okay, it looks like we can make a difference, but we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves. Nothing here can be taken for granted.
No point sticking around. We need to get going before Mary dooms us all. Kiss my ass. That's what I find in a desk. Kiss my ass. One minute warning letter. I've got a picture of the whole family that burned in the fire okay. in here. A family photo. Come take a look at this. And it's, <laughs> it's literally all of us. You won't believe this. But we're in this photo. All of us. Oh, okay. I don't know how or why, but this town has more than one version of each of us. First, from the witch trials hundreds of years ago, and now this family in the 70s. What does all this shit mean? You think this family all died like the other versions of us? I'm more concerned about us getting killed than what happened to them. I just don't get how any of this is possible. What the hell are you doing? No one's gonna believe this shit. I want proof that it happened. You're a professor. Explain that photograph to me. Wish I could. Yeah, explain that fucking photograph to me. Fucking explain it, bro. Oh, were you downstairs exploring? <laughs> yeah, it's a like letter of someone getting fired. Personal stuff. Doesn't feel right. On your advance. Can you help me out here? What's up? What do you need? All I'm doing is clicking on glowing things. I'll pull from this end, you from the other. Okay. Everything you got. Whoa! Yo, John, you good down there? Professor, are you okay? Professor, are you hurt? Okay, just about. Ugh. No way back up. I'll look for a way out down here. Okay, we'll meet up at the back of the building. Sure. See you out there. Be careful down there, John. Are you good? Says your job. 
Professor? Hope you're okay. The one person John can take care of is himself. I'm coming as fast as I can. I'm about to be under the bridge too. There's like a walkway above us. It's like a stone entrance way here. Andrew? You up there? I'm up here! <laughs> wow. Do you two look good? Nice of you to notice. Looks like you've been to the same beauty parlor as me. Swampies. Funny. But also true. <clears throat> Alright. So that's up here, Joe. <laughs> Am I pleased to see you? Same here. What the fuck is that thing? What the fuck? Andrew just got teleported. That ain't me. I'm fucking Angela, but Andrew's possessed, bro. Yo, he the devil. Burn. Burn in hell. What the fuck? I found a note that says burn in hell. Oh, shit. So they tried to blame the kid. Remember how he had a box of matches in his hand when he was found by the other dude outside? Basically, the newspaper is blaming it on him that he caused the fire and killed the whole family and not Mary. Uh, I see Mary. Yeah, Mary's right in front of me. She's just vibing over here. Get over here now. This is the house, right? Yeah, this is the house that burned down, right? Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. You stay on your toes. You get your neck broke by that. <laughs> No one in this hole. This is Joseph's trial. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe. Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? I carry no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I found as you face you in madness. Roy, you my saints, servants. We have to stop this. No more doubting. This is witchcraft. More stones. The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. 
the fate of Little Oak rests in your hands. You're telling me the three of us couldn't tip that board off of him, but these two guys just each picked up a rock by themselves and just chucked it on there like it was lightweight? We're screwed. There is no way out from this nightmare. We don't have a lot of time. time for I had two options. I was going to try to get the rocks off or what the fuck? John! What are you doing? I'm done running! Time for payback for Taylor and Daniel! Are you crazy? We gotta move! Fuck off of me! Fuck off me, bitch! I'm not losing another one! Yeah, that's who I am right now. I'm fighting for my life over here. Off of me, bitch. Fuck up off me, bitch. Ah, that dick is freaky, bro. I don't like that one. Andrew, you better open that fucking door, bro. Oh no, John. John. You better kick that thing in the head. Damn, bro. Up to you, bro. I don't know. Thing is only interested in me. Get out of here. Go. I'll hold it back. You can get away. Escape. I did. You don't have to do this. This is stupid. Get out of there. We got an achievement. Save job. Looks like it burnt down. Something here isn't right. What's new? Nothing here feels right. I'm Andrew. Oh, we got a 
premonition on the table over here. Oh, that's for the next game. Got a premonition for the next game. Okay, okay, a little teaser, a little teaser. Yeah, you can look at that if you want. You can get a little premonition for the next game. Permission for the next game, baby. I don't see nothing outside right now. Let's see a tire swing. A puncher. A puncher. Go hit her with a fucking. Where's that sledgehammer you had? Hit her with that shit. Even though I'm still not convinced that, you know, she actually is the bad guy anymore, but hit that bitch anyways with a slow jammer, just to be sure. You're gonna wanna see this. Yeah, I found a picture that shows you two married, John and Angel. And were married. This makes less and less sense. Over here. Modern guide to successful parenting. Discipline your children, exactly. Discipline them little bastards. They don't notice me at all. They don't care. Uh Angela's monsters under the house coming. Right where I found that book, I seen it crawling under the house. Angela ain't out of the woods yet. It's we got an achievement for saving John, but uh we have not gotten an achievement for saving Angela yet. What's that noise? My guess is the girl. We need to find her. Yeah, break her ankles. Why oh, we got like demonic chanting going on right now? She's in here. What do you think you're doing? It's okay. Trust me. She had to attack me like that. He knew I was about to confess all to the church. No way. You protect me. You must. Wait, this isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word uh -huh. on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Orb, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. I'm really thinking the Reverend's the bad guy at this point. ...mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha. But it has always belonged to Mary, and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so. Liar! Now this tit, child. This creature of Satan has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing.
Andrew, these people have lost their minds. This is collective hysteria, paranoia. We've got to intervene. Stop this somehow. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would. But now in her hour of greatest need, I don't see how. I've been here. She grabbed me while I was bent over. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. Man, Mary grabs me. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll his doing. You'll not deceive doing. us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. I will see this town purged of all evil. Listen to him. Carver's the one to blame. What must I do to bring little hope back into the line? I fear the Reverend and what he is capable of. You have to stop Carver. It's him, don't you get it? He's condemning Mary to take the heat off himself. I had two choices. Carver or destroy the doll in his hand. But we already tried burning the doll. Yeah. Be still. What is the meaning of this outrage? What I have just learned sickens me to my core. There are serious questions which must be asked of you. How can a man of God conduct himself in such a way? Mary, your suffering is at an end. You are free to leave. Fool! Misled by a child! Do you not see what she is? The truth stares at you from the depths of hell, yet you see nothing! The devil's daughter has deceived you all! Did we make the wrong choice? Did she draw those drawings in there, man? I see her! Satan's hall! You will pay heavily for your crimes. I was one of the first to fall under your spell. Now all of little hope is mesmerized by you. I have not the words. Without you, I would be dead. You saved me. I shall remember you all my days. I gotta admit, I'm impressed. You made all the right moves. You called out the priest for what he really was and saved Mary. Why do I feel like I did nothing? Like none of it matters. We should leave. You think it's just really over, just like that? What just happened? Is there some kind of resolution? I honestly think so. Thanks to Andrew, I think this night is finally over. I don't know, man. This one's fucking with my brain. I've got no 
This isn't me, so... I guess she's dead. There was nothing we could do there, what the fuck? supposed to do there? There was literally nothing we could do. There was literally nothing we could do for Angela. Hey! I'm real sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. Both of us been through some real tough time these past years. I got Angela killed. About half a mile or so, there's a diner with a working phone. You call for help and you leave this place. And don't you ever come back. Ain't nothing left here for you. I got Angela killed. I had an option when you were fighting your demon with the sledgehammer to either stand next to you or try to and help you or run away from my demon. And I chose to run away from mine. And it says to save Angela, make sure you choose the reassuring option and stand by John and help him face his demon. I'm sorry for what I've put you all through. So because I ran away from mine. She died. We've all had one hell of a rough night. What do you mean? I was trying to get away from the one that was trying to kill me. That's going to haunt me forever. You're not alone here. Take it easy on We've yourself. We've all been through hell. That, right? Finally getting out of this hell. Let yourself <laughs> I just wish we all could have made it. We were the bus driver the whole fucking time. This man's a fucking schizophrenic with multiple personalities. <laughs> what the fuck? We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. I knew there wasn't nobody on that damn bus. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I fucking told you there was nobody on that bus. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hi there. How you doing? 
Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need a clear head. Chose not to shoot the gun. Get the hell out of here. I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in. Hey! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. time we were just tripping balls and it was all in our head got an achievement for saving Mary and saving Andrew that's it game over you're done for now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. That is true. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. Not a bad effort. Some found redemption, some didn't. All you're doing. And you eventually found him. The bus driver. Maybe he can now put the past behind him. So the whole time the bus driver was the kid that Don't ran back into the fire in the beginning. Maybe in the South Pacific. Or the Arabian Desert. That's why his ear was burned up. Somewhere else. Because he ran back in to try to save Mary. But we will meet again. That's why he had no ghost hunting. He was trying to save his whole family that died in the fire. His sister died by hanging. His brother got a bail. Mom choked to death. So he had survivor's guilt. Phew! <sighs> 